In this lesson, we are going to be talking about area of triangles and trapezoids. Before we do that, however, I want to talk to you guys about the area of a parallelogram again. If you guys know the area of a parallelogram, you would know that it's equal to base times height. Now, why am I introducing this equation in here? Because once you understand this, you will actually be able to understand the area of a triangle. A triangle is always half of a parallelogram. So if I asked you what the half of this was, I would just go ahead and do that. And now we actually have a triangle. And that's exactly what a triangle is. It's half of a parallelogram. So the area for a triangle is one half of base times height, which means that's a better way for you guys to understand it than trying to memorize a formula. Just know that it's half of the area of a parallelogram. All right, so are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to do an example now that you know the area of a triangle is one half base times height? Let's see. Let's see if you guys at home can go ahead and do this now. Follow along. We have area equals one half base times height, right? So where's my base? Your base is always the bottom of the triangle, and we can see that that's seven inches. What's my height? Your height's going to be from the bottom and all the way to the top. That measurement from bottom to top. Let's plug it in. Seven inches times six inches. Hey, this is pretty fun, huh? Seven inches times six inches. I always recommend when finding the area of a triangle to go ahead and multiply your base times your height first. I know what you're saying, but Brian, order of operation says go from left to right, and you are correct, but the three operations we have here are multiplication. So we can go ahead and multiply these first and then divide it by two. It's much easier that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply six times seven, which would give me one half times 42 inches squared. Six times seven is 42, and inches times inches is inches squared. Now we can go ahead and divide that. You can do one of two things. You can actually multiply it. One half times 42 over one. We can cross cancel and that would be 21 over one or just 21. Or you can go ahead and take 42 and just put it over two, which will give you 21 as well. Either way, they both work to know that our area is equal to 21 inches squared. Before we go into the next examples, let me tell you guys a little story of when I was learning about area of triangles. I had a hard time understanding where my height was. My teacher didn't explain it very well, and what I want to do is take the liberty to teach you what I taught myself to understand where the height is. I look for perpendicular lines, and that's the most important thing that you want to identify. Whenever you can see the perpendicular lines, you can know that you're close to your base and your height. In this instance, your base would be six meters, and your height would be eight meters. I know what you're saying. Brian, why is eight meters my height when it's going horizontally? Let me show you. I have a bigger version of this triangle right here, right? But sometimes in geometry, they're going to try to trick you by drawing it certain ways that don't look like it would be a height. All you have to do in your head is actually visually see the triangle flipped like this. Once you do that, now you can see it's the same triangle. Your base is here and your height is right there. So if we did that for this triangle, we can go ahead and see that our area would equal our one half times our base of six meters times our height, which is eight meters. And again, I multiply these two first and then I'll take the half of it. So it will be one half times, six times eight is 48 meters squared. And when you take the half of 48, you get 24 meters squared, okay? Let's try the next one. Hmm, that one looks a lot tougher, doesn't it? What do I have to identify? Where my perpendicular lines are. There's none inside of the triangle, so you know what they did? They did the work for you. 
which is really cool because you'll always see something like that because you can never be not given the height of a triangle and figure out the area of it. So we're given a complete measurement from top to bottom of eight inches right here. Whenever we're given that, we want to use that as our height. And then we're going to use 10 inches as our base. I know, I know you're saying, but why aren't you using this one as the height? Let me tell you why. Because we would, can only do that when we're given the total measurement from here to here. And we're not. We're only giving the measurement from there to there, which means that's our base. But if we extended it, we know from here to the top point would be the height, which is 8 inches. So now our area is equal to 1 half our base, which is 10 inches, times our height of 8 inches. And we know that that's 1 half times 80 inches squared, and half of that is 40 inches squared. So remember, the key thing is to identify where the perpendicular lines are. Know from top to bottom or bottom to top on these dashed lines when you see it, that will be your height, and the other side will go ahead and be your base. My solution for this lesson isn't a difficult one. I just need you guys to go ahead and understand the formula for area of a triangle. That's area is equal to one half base times height. Remember that. The other thing, remember, your answer will always be in units squared. So if you're dealing with inches, it's inches squared. Centimeters, it's centimeters squared. Do that and you'll be okay.